of five. Yeah, congratulations on your win. That must have taken a lot for you guys uh, to come back from a remake in that game and then win the next two. Do you learn anything about yourselves? Do you guys grow as a team during an experience like that? Do you bond? <laughs> yeah, I mean, after game one, um, especially for me, because like, I was messing up a lot. Um, basically, that game, we just had one big mistake and then snowball into us losing the game. So even after game one, heading into game two, even though we were winning in the first part of it because of the bug remake, um, it was really hard after that game two to mentally reset. And that's really what it took to have all five of our players go through what was a really tough first two games. And yeah, we, we played pretty well after that. Yes, you did. They say, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I guess you guys are stronger now. People really like to speculate, actually, uh, as to the communication uh, that goes on in-game for teams. Uh, who was you know, the one really bringing the team together, refocusing after that loss, or, you know, was it a group effort? Oh, for sure, Dardock. Dardock was... Uh, he was just so commanding that game. I think after game one and two, I was very uh, timid because I was messing up a lot. Uh, after the pause, it was really hard for me to just get back into the game. And I thought it'd be just the same for Dardock, but even though it was just as hard for him, he really picked it up and I'm really p proud to call him my teammate. Yeah, he really seems to be growing into one of those great leaders. Uh, now I have another question about a different teammate, Fabi in the bottom lane. Uh, everybody's also speculating about, oh, Fabi versus Piglet. Uh, let's just narrow it down. You're the guy that plays with them in lane. For you, what is the biggest difference between these games I have with Fabi and the games I had with Piglet? So I think the biggest difference, um, it wouldn't be like mechanical. I feel like Fabi is definitely going to be closer to Piglet than a lot of the LCS data carriers. I think he's decently close. It's just what really comes down to is experience. Like in a lot of situations, uh, Fabi doesn't know quite as much as Piglet would. Like Piglet, for every situation, he knows what he's doing. So the difference is I am usually the one following around Piglet, but with Fabi, I have to be the one who, you know, steps up, talks more, and just really has to dictate where me and Fabi go. Well, you guys look good with that Braum uh, gin combo. Uh, a couple of kills there. Now, your next game coming up is Envy. Did double check it. Uh, what do you think right now? Because Envy, they've gone through some trouble last week. They lost a couple games with a pretty hard schedule. Uh, what do you think you guys have really identified as their biggest weakness right now? Oh, geez, man, they're right behind me. Come on. <laughs> uh, I feel like, I, feel, I think Envy's a pretty good team. I think they do pretty well for... <laughs> Very good great, team, great actually. Team, guys. I feel like they're about Is it Laud? <laughs> yeah, 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 they're definitely going to win the next game, so they're really strong. Nice. All right, well, congratulations on your win, and good luck on your win, guys. Uh, we're going to send it over to the desk now. Or no desk. That's Thank right, you. there's no yeah, desk. No desk. Kobe trying to start, like, an all-out brawl there on the LCS. <laughs>